Howdy folks, welcome back. I'm doing some more tinkering, uh, this time with this Mossberg 590A1 uh, nine shot. This is model 51660. If you look at Mossberg's website, this gun only comes with polymer furniture. I bought this used a while back. The guy switched it out and put retrograde furniture on it from another retrograde he had. Different strokes for different folks. Retrograde furniture is very popular. The retrograde models, uh, kind of hard to come by if you just want retrograde furniture. But uh, I'm going to do something a little different and maybe something that some of you watching don't want me to do or don't like. I'm going to refinish it. A lot of the retrograde furniture that I see and uh, other uh, modern production guns with wood stocks they just look brown to me. It's only under very certain lighting that you can see green to me. That Maybe that's just my eyes. I don't know. I feel like I've got pretty good eyes though. One of those lighting conditions is right now. Uh, this, this stock looks fantastic. Looks absolutely beautiful. Wow. Uh, that and sunlight. Other than that, to me, they just look brown. It's a stained varnish mix that is just applied to the surface. Get them out the door, right? So I want to see if I can enhance and bring out even more beauty in this wood by refinishing it. Let's get to it. So very, very white coming off of there. But as you can see, if you got a good scraper, a couple scrapes, you're already down the wood. All right, scraping went good, but it'd be a nightmare to scrape <clears throat> that corn cob out. I'll, uh, I'll let it sit on there while I'm doing some other stuff. Overall, the checkering is really good already on these. It's not pressed checkering. Uh, I'm not sure if this is machine cut or laser cut, but it could just be cleaned up point it up, be a little more aggressive. The way I like to do it, <clears throat> I'll chase out all of the, the ends first in both directions, right? You've got lines running this way and this way. So chase these out, chase these out, and then these ends, these ends, and then I'll run through the middle. Uh, you can put masking tape to protect your edges. Uh, if you have like a run over where you accidentally gouge into the wood, this will protect that a little bit. But we'll save the border for last because that will clean up any run overs that we have. So let's take this tape off. You can kind of see where I hit the border over here as my cutting tool was coming through up here as well. But this is now your time to clean all these up.
After an acetone bath and a few iterations of spray and scrub, I was finally able to get all the remnants of this stubborn finish off. And here is our bare wood. Now, if we were to just put a finish on this, this is what it would look like. This is just water, but uh, water soaking in simulates what just a plain finish would look like. And that looks pretty dang good, in my opinion. I'm debating on whether I want it a little darker or not. Well, I decided to go darker and I'm going to be using uh, this Waco Danish oil. I've never used it on a project, only done tests with it, but figure if I don't like it, it'll go back into an acetone bath. I'm just going to do one pass on it. Wipe the excess. I think that came out pretty good. Let that dry and then we'll start in on some finish. A little change of scene here. My garage was a little cold for applying true oil or any finish for that matter. The cold temperature really increases the viscosity of true oil and here in my basement, it flows a lot better. It's a lot easier to move around. And with this first application, you want it to soak into the wood as much as possible. And where it soaks in, add some more, keep rubbing it around. Just keep it moving to get a nice uniform application. And I repeat that with the forend. All right, we're gonna even out this finish a little bit. I dry sand and then rub in true oil to even out and fill the pores and the grain. You don't wanna go really any deeper than that. You don't wanna get into the, the stain and the wood. You're just working on the finish here. All right, I've got these sanded to where I want them. Just a nice fine sanding dust on there. And Kind of sparingly. Just mix in that sanding dust. And all over. Got the buttstock done. Still some blotchy spots, but we'll be doing more than one of these applications. It'll all even out. Now we'll move on to the wood forend. For this third and final sanding and true oil application, I'm also going to simultaneously seal the checkering just with a few drops of true oil and a toothbrush. You'll keep that spreading around within the checkering, letting it soak up where it will soak up and continuously moving it around. The excess I will use to mix with the sanding dust on the parts that I have sanded and just continue to move it around, try to get a nice uniform finish. My final step is to finish the finish. Got some pumice here. It's just a very fine grit powder, damp rag. I'm gonna work that 
around and then clean them all up dry them off I'll hit it with a dab of Johnson paste wax and then just lightly buff off the excess well there you have it and I gotta say I am pretty pumped about how it turned out but no I, uh, I really like it the only thing I would have done different I would have added a little bit of red to the stain that I used we often associate that red color with the vintage or retro guns of you know the 30s to the 60s or so but I feel like that would have made it pop a little more but I am incredibly happy with how it turned out. The, the walnut that Mossberg is using on the retro wood is absolutely beautiful. And unfortunately, their uh, quick finishing processes don't lend themselves well to showing the beauty that is, is this wood and under that finish. I feel like this one is now, has now, more individuality a little more character than the the mass produced ones but nothing wrong with mass produced the retrogrades look good i now just think this one looks better i'll put up some before and after uh, videos and a comparison with the with another current retrograde wood in different lighting conditions but i think that's really all i want to say in this video other than that Thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe, hit all the buttons, you know, and we'll see you on the next one.